Hello, this Science of Sport video um, relates to BTEC Sport and Exercise Sciences and in particular this short video will just be giving you an overview of the contents and the assessment requirements of Unit 7 Biomechanics in Sport and Exercise Science. So the unit um, re requires you to complete three assignments. Each assignment looks at a different element of bi biomechanics. Biomechanics is actually a vast topic and what we do within our course actually sort of scratches the surface of it. Nonetheless, it's really um, relevant and, and relates to a lot of the sporting experiences that you will have had. And you probably use a lot of the language already, so I'm sure you've talked about speed or velocity or acceleration or something decelerating or slowing down. Um, this just really looks at the, the technical or scientific aspects and the mathematical aspects behind linear motion. So assignment one or assignment 7.1 um, relates to linear motion, relatively straight line motion. As you can see, there are four subsections to this assignment, A1, A2, A3, A4. Um, as I said, some of these you'll recognise, the top three probably, but we'll also look at something called inertia and momentum, again, relating it to lots of different sports examples. Now, the assessment requirements are, as all of these biomechanics assignments are, pass, merit and distinction. So, it will, you know, depending on the level that you're working at, you'll be describing or explaining or analysing those components always relating it to sporting contexts and examples and you may need to show some calculations um, within that assignment. We'll be doing this in an investigative style so you're very likely to take part in some activities, we'll gather that data and we'll use that data to calculate these outcomes. So that's assignment one. Assignment two, so assignment 7.2, relates to the different forces that impact on us, impact our bodies or from within our bodies um, or external to us, but also forces that we might apply on objects as well. <clears throat> you may recognise this chap Newton, so Isaac Newton, um, a physicist, um, but we'll learn about Newton's laws of motion, obviously related to applying forces to us or to objects to create motion. Again, other factors you might recognise from this topic is friction, something like friction or air resistance. And, you know, for, for example, you wear rugby boots or spikes on the athletics track to create friction. And on other instances, we might want to reduce friction. So, again, a lot of these factors are things that you might be able to relate to already, but might not know the scientific technicality behind it. The assessment requirements, again, are to examine forces acting in our performances and on our equipment, and it's a describe, explain, and analyze using examples throughout. <clears throat> Always making sure we show the impact of these forces, the <clears throat> consequences of the for these forces in our sporting examples. So the final uh, assignment in this unit, 7.3, angular motion. Um, so I guess a sort of a parallel to linear motion. Linear is slightly more uh, straight line motion. Angular motion is motion around an axis um, and we all look at again subsections so looking at what is center of mass, how we manipulate center of mass to be more or less stable, what lever systems are and you may have touched on that at GCSE and we'll look at the different axes and planes of rotation. So um, it's quite a broad unit um, just before we sort of finish, this is the assessment criteria for 7.3, the third assignment. So describe levers and axes, describe centre of mass and how we manipulate it, explain or analyse. So hopefully you're all pushing to aim for at least the merit, if not the distinction, criteria in this unit. So as I said, it's quite a broad unit overall, um, but certainly very manageable. We've got lots of resources to help you get through this.